Hi, I'm Cheryl Green, and this is my twin, Teresa Naramore, and we are with Twin Sisters Interiors, and we are ready to take you shopping at a local thrift store to see what we can find. Let's go. Oh wow. gosh, this is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? Well, I don't like it in the current condition, but I'm pretty sure we could do something amazing with it. Okay, but it says it's working yeah. and it's eight bucks, so let's see what we can do. Yeah. You know, one thing in a thrift store that they're never short on is mugs. So what do you say we grab some mugs and do something fun with those? What are you gonna do with those? I mean, it's a set of four, you know, we can't pass those up. It's kind of ugly. You think we can paint them? I bet we could. Hey, for a dollar. Okay, all right. Let's do it. Okay. Do I don't want to know what's going to happen? <laughs> How many lips to touch that? <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> it. Hey. This is so cool. Oh, that is cool. Wow. I bet it could fit. I already have an idea of what we can do with that. You do? Let's get it. Okay. This is cool. Four bucks. What a That's steal. awesome. All right. <laughs> and I think I spy something over here. What do you think about this picnic basket? I've always wanted one. Can I get it? I see potential. <laughs> Five bucks? Yeah. Are you serious? Let's do it. Oh my gosh, it even has the flakes in here. I think we can dress this up a little bit and make it look really neat. All right. Yeah, you don't have to like the art. You, you look at the right. frame right. because frames can be pricey. <gasps> Sweet. Oh, that's a great frame. I love this. I think I saw some grain sacks. I've got an idea for some grain sacks. Okay, let's grab that frame. That's awesome. That's in great shape. My gosh, I have a perfect way to use this. That is really neat. Yeah, and it's got two sides, so you can decide which one you want to use it on. So, that, I mean, that's a great find. And, you know, even if you can't find something like that at your um, your local thrift store, there's always tablecloths and, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe old drapes that um, could be repurposed as well. But we love these grain sacks. That's a great find. Oh, cool. Thanks for shopping with us today. Yeah, we've got five projects we can't wait to get started on. Well, from the thrift store to our essay live set here at Market Square. That's right, Teresa Naramore and Cheryl Green join us now. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. And now, first things first, Teresa. I mean, the lamp, right? Now, we're going to have the before okay. shot that's up there. There it is. And I mean, it looks like something you'd find in grandma's house, yes, right? It Definitely. Does. It does. Now, but you've transformed it. Talk to me what you did. Right. I mean, you, you can hardly recognize it, right, David? You really? I mean, it looks great. So um, we, we, what attracted us at the store was we liked the scale and the lines of the lamp. But obviously, we knew we needed to give it a little facelift. So um, we spray painted the whole lamp silver, okay. and then came in with some tape, did a little modern design, and then sprayed it again with some matte black paint, because matte black is all the rage right now. <laughs> then you peel that off, and you reveal the silver underneath. How and cool is that? And then, uh, and so what was the overall price point for this? Uh, I think 30 bucks. 30 bucks. And now yes. you went from something that you'd find in grandma's house to something that you want to put it in the office, That's right. and you want to put around the house. Right. This is no, gorgeous. when you're shopping at the thrift store yeah. for lamps, just make sure that it and does the, work. And yes. look at this, yes. this is the old one. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see it, it's seen some things, right? It's yes. kind of old. It and then has, you've upgraded the lampshade. Seen better days. But yeah, um, this one, they had a little sticker on it that said that it worked, so we knew we were good there, and we just needed to give it a little facelift. This is awesome. Now, of course, we saw this one earlier as well. This was the filing cabinet, and you're going to want to file this one away for later. This is a great revamp of this idea. Oh, yes, and here is the big reveal. Cheryl, what did you turn it into? <laughs> well, we took that ugly metal box, and we made a really cool wine carrier. Oh, I love it. So, uh... Put your my wine, wine in. Mm -hmm. my, my little glasses, and then um, there we go. Bottle, bottle opener. opener. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, you can take your wine to go. You could even put some insulation in there to make it, you know, keep it cool, right? <laughs> yeah, magnet. there we go. Another magnet. Yeah. So how did you do it? So it was really simple. We spray painted the gray metal and put this right, really nice teal color on. 
Uh, and like I said, because it's metal, you can do a lot with magnets. So I took this just cheap little magnet metal clip, and now it holds my bottle opener in place. Um, I like to use plastic glasses so they don't break. Break, of course. Um, my, my wine, but then we took some, just some fabric we had laying around the house to spruce it up and also to add the padding to the bottle. Mm -hmm. um, again, I decorated with magnets. That's a magnet mm -hmm. there. I took some, just some old pieces of tile since we have a tile store. I've always got tile laying around. And I glued these really inexpensive Ooh. magnets to the back. But and you use could, it as decoration. Yeah, yeah, you can use it. You can even make little tic-tac-toes, right. put them on there, have the kids playing tic-tac-toe while you're, you're having your little yes, glass of wine. while you're enjoying yourself. Yes. yes, and there, of course, is the total on the screen. You did all that for just $9. Yes. That is amazing. And you know, this wine would be great to take on a picnic. Right, That's right. David? That's right. Now, there's the before picture of this picnic basket. And that looks like something Yogi Bear would enjoy, right? <laughs> or maybe he went through already, and yeah. you've spruced this up. Right. This is after. Yeah. Now, w tell me what you did. Well, it was pretty sad looking. Yeah, and, it was sad. Um, <laughs> but we now have a party Yay, in the basket here. Look at here. this. Look at that. I was jealous of the wine, but I now know, I'm okay. No. Look at this. <laughs> we are, we've got everything we need to make margaritas. Um, so, you know, basically I took the inside that was um, on the old basket yeah. and oh, yeah. just ripped that out. It came out pretty easily. Um, I used cardboard and I covered the cardboard with uh, an old tablecloth, oh. so it's waterproof, yeah. cleans up easily if you have any spills. And then on that cardboard, I just made slits and um, used this elastic to hold my items in place. And you're just so clever. Good. This is so cool. I would you could take this anywhere with yeah, you. Definitely. This is fantastic. And now. $12 total to transform this picnic basket. And now I saw earlier, you guys got a frame and you were talking about some kind of grain burlap sack. There it is right there. That is the before with those two pieces. And Cheryl is showing us what she did with it. <laughs> we made a fabulous message board, memo board. You could use it as a calendar, hang everything on there. So basically, um, we took this ugly frame. Don't pay attention to the art. You can pop the art out, throw it away, you know. Just look at the frame itself. It was in good shape. It wasn't cracked. It wasn't, you know, didn't have any damage to it. And then we took the grain sack, cut it up, put it on um, a foam board, and now it holds our our recipes, our to-do lists, you know, your everything appointments right for the week, everything. Yeah. And all of it for just $30. Nice. I love that. You can find so much, of course, at thrift stores. And one thing you find a lot of are mugs, right, David? That's right. Now, you can see this is the before mug right there. Mm -hmm. They look like basic mugs. Thank but you, you have transformed them now, and you've, you've made them into little succulent gardens. Well, How did you do you, this? I think you, um, very simple. I think even I, I would trust you to do this craft. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my crafting skills are not as good as one would think. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so I used uh, some matte white paint, spray painted them and um, went to the craft store and found some stickers, got on clearance, so mm -hmm. very inexpensive, um, and then put those on there. You could spell grow, you could spell your name. Yeah, the uh, family name. The family name, and then put some succulents in there. They'll be beautiful in a window or as a gift. Well, this is just fantastic. Everything that you guys have shown today is just gorgeous, all very cost effective, and everything right here you can put inside your home. Yes, okay, so really having the eye to see something and get creative, anything is possible. And you guys have a new shop in Bernie, right? That's right. We're uh, actually located in the Walmart shopping center, and um, we took a cute little historic building, and now it is our design showroom, um, furniture, accessories, flooring, and everything there. So it's a one-stop shop. Well, Teresa and Cheryl, thank you so much for coming out here. And for more information on Twin Sisters Interiors, head to salive.com, where we've provided a link.